Yeah. What's up YouTube? This is my 125 Bass Aquarium. I caught this bass, largemouth bass, on the Red River in Shreveport, Louisiana. The driftwood, the rocks, some of the substrate is all from the Red River. I tried to mimic his habitat the best I could. Uh, the aquatic plants, like the moss, the anubias, I'm not quite sure what this is called, it's cry something. I got all that at my local pet store uh, just to keep the water quality a little bit better, but we'll get into water quality here a little bit later. Uh, but I tried to mimic the Red River the best I could. Um, as far as keeping a bass in a home aquarium, it's not that big of a deal. It's not hard. These are hardy fish, especially if you pull a fish out of a live body of water, he's going to be a pretty hardy fish. He's used to temperature changes and He's used to so many things, water quality changing at the blink of an eye, versus you go and buy a, a fish at a pet store who was born in, a, in an aquarium, who was raised in an aquarium up until the day that you bought it, he most likely is you know, used to a certain temperature, used to a certain type of water quality, all this and that. With live fish, that's not the case. Of course, you want to mimic you know, their natural habitat as much as possible, but water quality isn't going to be that big of a deal. I personally do a water change once a week, sometimes once every two weeks. It just depends on how busy I am. But your water doesn't have to be just top-notch quality. You want to keep it the best you can, and you do that with water changes. Uh, you want to change about half. I usually do half, sometimes a little bit more than half, and then add new water in. I'll do videos on water changes here soon, I'm sure. But as far as keeping a live bass that you caught, the only thing that's really important, you got to know that these bass grow. They eat a lot, they get big, and they eat. Uh, I'm about to show you how they eat worms, and it's really cool to watch them and study them, how they eat a worm, how they eat a frog, how they eat a crawfish, how many bites it takes, how full they are, will they still eat. You can't really study a fish too, too well. Uh, it's not in its live habitat. You could study, I could study this bass, how he eats things, but I can't study when he eats and things like that and have it to like, okay, I come in here on my way to go fish and cut on the lights and feed them, oh, the bass are biting today. No, that's not how it's gonna go. But you can watch them eat worms, look at them how many times it takes them to bite it, watch him eat a crawfish, watch how he crunches down on it, watch how he watches a frog, watch his habits you know watch watch his lateral line go to work it's pretty cool to watch uh, but as far as keeping one you want a bigger tank if, if you got like a 30 or 50 gallon tank somewhere in that range and you catch you a little bass he'll be fine in there for a little while but like I said these guys are monsters they eat and eat and eat and eat and they're gonna grow pretty quick this guy was less than a pound when I've got him I've had him for about three months now and he has grown quite a bit. I don't want to say an inch a week, but somewhere close to that. They grow quickly. So once he gets to about two pounds, once again, this is a 125 gallon tank. Once he gets to about two pounds, two and a half pounds, I'll take him back to the Red River and catch me another small one and put him in here and raise him up. <clears throat> I just like to do it. It's really cool to watch. It's eye candy. It's, it's, it really is fun. I've done discus. I've done pretty much arowanas, any type of, I've done stingrays, I've done a lot of different aquarium fish, but I'm so big into bass fishing and duck hunting that, you know, I find this to be pretty cool to watch the most of all. This piece of driftwood here was bolted down, I say bolted down, was screwed down onto a piece of flagstone, but it popped up on me. That's what, it did come up like this and it looked real nice. I'm gonna have to fix that when I do a water change here soon. But other than that, keeping a bass is not hard to do. Keep up with your water quality, water change, just like any other any other fish. But I can tell you that 
these live fish are a lot more hardy than anything you would buy at a pet store. They're strong fish. They could, they could really dish out temperature changes and, I mean, be fine. But that's really it. That's my 125 Bass Aquarium. I'm going to show you guys feeding them some worms today. I'll do other videos of frogs, crawfish, stuff like that. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of insight on keeping a live, taking a bass out of body of water, bringing it home and putting it in your aquarium really not much to it you can have fake stuff in there I see a lot of people you know don't have any substrate it's easier to clean but there's really not much to it and it really is cool to look. so I've got some night crawlers here just your went up to my I live right by a lake I got you know a little bait shop right up the road these are just large Canadian night crawlers comes with 18 of them got a little bass on the front and all I've done is wash them off and get them ready it ain't really a whole lot of process to it I just got some of whatever they keep them in in those little boxes got that off and wash them and normally he is pretty active he knows when I'm coming around so we're gonna see if we can get that going see him looking smacks it up Eats that worm in one bite. Doesn't hesitate. He just eats those things up. He could eat 50 of them. if I can get them to come up. 